All right, so a couple of tricks here. Let's start with a brand new website. Remember, here's how you name a website by going to the end of the address here and giving it a name. I'll call mine two tips. And the two tips I'm going to give you are these. One, don't put business logic in buttons. And two, use whatever language you like. So here on my page, I want to add some straightforward business logic. I want that logic to do this. When you click my button, I want, I want to see Hello World. So here inside this click event, I want to have it generate a Hello World. And I want that Hello World to appear in this label. Now, I have no particular reason to change the names of these for this demonstration, so I'm going to leave them at the default. Button 1 is the button. Label 1 is the label. When I click the button, set label 1's text equal to hello world so let's just save all this and go to my web page and view it in the browser so it works the way I want it but it does have the business logic inside the click event and I do want to avoid that. This is business logic. I want to get it out of here. So to my project I will add a new item and this new item will be a class and I think I'll use Visual Basic. This class will be called the Greeter. It needs to create an app code folder for my class, so I allow that. And now I have a class called Greeter, to which I will add a function, say hello, that returns a string. And there you are. I'll go ahead and build. And then return to my web page. And now I'm going to change this code here a little bit. So here inside the click event of my button, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of my greeter class. I'll call it G. And what I'm going to do is set the label text equal to my G object now has the say hello method. So let's just use that. And notice that uh, this is a this is C sharp here. I'm creating a new greeter object using C sharp, although the greeter object, the greeter class, uh, was created in Visual Basic. And these are all inside of the same uh, project here, the same website. So let's test this out. Save everything. And actually, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint in here. And instead of viewing it in the browser, which just opens up the browser with a simple website, a simple web server behind it, let's go ahead and run this uh, in debug mode. It's going to offer to modify web.config here and set it up for debugging. So let's allow that. Uh, and it's going to warn us that script debugging is disabled in Internet Explorer and that's okay. All right. Um, oh, it's going to reuse that browser that I was just in. So it's going to go ahead and drop us right into the application. And here we see that when I've clicked the button that the uh, new greeter object is created. So when I hit F11 or 
stepping into. And my new G class we'll call Say Hello. So here I am in the greeter class Say Hello function. It returns Hello World. The label is set. The method ends. And there you have it. So two tips. Don't put business logic inside of your click events of your buttons. Instead, put it inside of classes, inside of components, and keep them separated. And tip two, use whatever language you prefer.